Hey, le Full Agile Rangers! Euh, alors, aujourd'hui, on va vous faire un tips and trick d'un Agile Coach Out of the Box Tool. Stay tuned! So, alright, my dear uh, Agile Lungers, the Scrummies, the, all around the world. Uh, this is a small, little, nice, amazing, out of the box vlog that I do uh, live from my uh, nice uh, room, my nice coaching room here at the uh, Crew Collective uh, co working place, uh, which is uh, my base in Montreal. For those of you who follow me, from Manhattan, we could meet at the Bryant Park uh, Rework and uh, I through space in Toronto for my Toronto Trust. So today I want to do something that uh, it's not necessarily new, but I'm going to do it the Agile Lounge way, which is the lounge way and the uh, out of the box way. And this is uh, a big nice tool for any Agile coach out there and consultant uh, that like to work practically and they always, we always need like a lot of stuff. So you're gonna see. So first of all, the things that I suggest is you purchase, not from your uh, old uncle, but you literally purchase uh, yeah, a fishing box like this, and you can see this one. So that's the first thing you need to build your own agile out of the box uh, toolkit. And when you open it, the beauty of it is this, you see? Oh, and by the way, if you like this video in French, look at the link in the description. It's going to uh, add it to uh, the French version of this uh, vlog tutorial. So let's continue. So here it is. So you could have everything an Agile coach needs for performing a workshop, a facilitation session, what have you. So and uh, in the description below, I'm going to also put a link for the PDF list of uh, great uh, management of this thing. So first thing first, just for fun, stickers. I, I use it more uh, less uh, less and less in the past there but nevertheless it's always good to have it uh, it's not for behavioral kind of, of, of things but uh, you could put it to make uh, if you make your team vote for example so smiley face stars and you see this one i like it it's mostly in french it's like uh, very good good so if you do a retrospective and also any kind of uh, open space kind of session when you have people to vote on things that you put on the board, I think that could be an asset to have those stickers. Then, post-its, for sure! Would you be an Agilist or a Scrummy without post-it? Because post-it gonna make things visible and you are being succinct and very focused on your idea. It's good for story mapping, storytelling, uh, working agreement, any type of session, including uh, any session actually. And if, especially if you go into the user experience and client experience kind of design or sprint design session, you will need different size and color of post-its. So you see a large one like this, vertical one like this, and probably another video where we're going to make the things like how do you stick those into the wall or the, the whiteboard. So as you can see, different color, different size, voila. And, uh, and again, if you have to vote, you use the stickers to, to make your vote count and, and so on, according to how your people agree on it. And also sometimes a lot of teams could require these uh, type of uh, Oxford uh, assortment of color flu card. It's index card, it's index card, but it could be another asset, especially if you'd like to keep it uh, to make it evolve. So there's the, the, the post-it, you could keep it into a, a big white post-it, but uh, definitely, uh, if you'd like to bring the car for uh, a next uh, value list or a next backlog, those could be a great asset to, to build stuff. And then, of course, the, the marker to, to, to draw on the whiteboard. One of those. And Sizer. Right now, uh, this is my old version of Sizer, big one, especially when I do my workshop uh, from Adam Wesbar, that I salute, by the way, uh, of uh, Build Your Own Scrum, uh, because I prefer that to Lego Serious Play. Uh, the BYOS build you own Scrum. It's a very nice game where uh, you actually have to make some kind of uh, uh, Warcraft like this. So, uh, but now because I'm starting to do uh, it aboard, I got other size that is not with me right now, uh, but it's uh, <laughs> and don't laugh. It's TSA uh, approved scissor. 
Uh, so they are smaller. It's for kids in the kindergarten. So it's not I'm saying that my plan are kids. But if I want to pass through security at the airport, of course I want to have it or I'll put it uh, not in the carry-on but into another section. But let's say that I have to move fast and so you could have other scissors and nevertheless uh, they might be less efficient though, than those but the smaller one like child proof type of thing and TSA approved uh, will be nice. Okay, enough for the scissor. And of course, marquees, uh, it's really important. Ask your people not to shoe on them because I saw often in my workshop people are shooing on them so I said okay, you could keep it now because I don't want that to make people sick. So even though that me, I got some Purell, especially in the fall and winter month. And this is for myself or the team if they need to clean their hands. Of course, very nice pit, uh, pit uh, glue sticks. This is very, very important to have, especially for the build your own scrum again, when they're gonna build their own scrum uh, tutorial game and so on, so they, they could construct this thing. Of course, I've got nice, uh, nice game, like the uh, card games all over the place here, which is the Agile Pattern Project. Oh, and just next to that, Agile Pattern Games. This is also from um, our friend Adam Westward. I've got these for Montreal, the Crew Collective and Cafe. So these are the free gift, the free cafe. You could have a latte, uh, kombucha, whatever you have. So if you reserve a workshop with, with us here in Montreal, uh, you're gonna have those. So unfortunately, at Grand Park, there I don't have any cafe IQ space either. But here, when you have, when you book your workshop in Montreal, you, you will receive automatically uh, those free vouchers for your free drink while you are receiving the workshop. Uh, the user story uh, after refinement. So okay, so these are extra. Everything I named before. This is the basic for an agile coach out of the box toolkit. These are extra that I like. This is for my services to uh, product owner. Of course, I just showed you the box right now. So we have the card. So the card game is always there to play the user story game. It's a really nice uh, board game uh, that we built and we still use with product owner and marketing team. And of course, for the introduction to uh, Agile. So I kind of create this based on the modern Agile group. Uh, this is a game of anti-pattern again, but not as specific as Scrum as this one with a fish. But this one is more like uh, it's the the twelve principle, and uh, we do a kind of a game with this card game to learn the principle of agile and see if you uh, use it or not in your workspace. So basically, a yeah, color sharpie, black sharpie for the people to write. On the post it. So here you go, here you go, this is it. So I sign off, I salute you, and again look at the description below to get the list of the basic item and the extra stuff that you might go on with your contacts and the services that you provide as an agile coach. So I hope you liked it. If you liked it, give me a like, share this to any other uh, coaches in the community, and until then, keep smiling. Cheers. Mm -hmm.